This is so tough. Today I'm going to be attempting the 5,000 calorie challenge, which means I'm not only going to be trying to consume 5,000 calories through foods that I eat today, but also burn 5,000 calories. The reason why I'm doing this challenge is that I thought it would be really fun to put, try to push my limits physically, but also get to eat all of my favorite foods guilt-free because in theory, I should be burning all of those calories and you know have a net gain of zero. I'm gonna start this morning off with a run, try to burn off a bulk of those calories that I need to today because it's gonna be a long, grueling day. So it's about 7.30. And right now I am, I have only three calories of burned of my 5,000. So I got a lot of work cut out for me, but I'll keep you posted. The rules of this challenge are simple. The first rule is that I have to eat my 5,000 calories before midnight. So that last bite has to be in my mouth before the clock strikes 12. And then my last active calorie burn has to be before midnight as well. The second rule of this challenge is that all of the calories burned that I am counting for this challenge have to come from my active calories, meaning I'm not using any of my resting metabolic rate calories because I typically burn maybe 1300 calories just by existing. The third and final rule is if I puke, then I did not complete the challenge. I did not beat it, the challenge would have beat me at that point. All right, I'm about to head out on my run. I'm virtually at zero calories burned, so I will keep you posted on my progress throughout the day. Let's get started. So I just closed my exercise ring <clears throat> for the day, meaning I've been running for 30 minutes. And right now I've only gone 257 calories burned for the day. I really got the work cut out for me today. All right, the break's over, I gotta keep going. Another 30 minutes in, so that we're been running for about 60 minutes now, and I've only burned 500, a little over 500 calories. This challenge is tough, but we're making some progress. So another 30 minutes has passed, taking another break just to gather myself. I have a little over 700 calories burned. So before I leave Golden Gate Park, I'm gonna try to break that thousand so I are a fifth, so that I'm a fifth of the way there. All right, catch you later. All right. I'm on my cool down now after my run. I basically ran a half marathon 
without proper training, don't recommend. The lactic acid buildup is real. Um, but I do want to give a little shout out to my girl, Kennedy, who has a podcast and I'll link that in the description below. But basically, you know, been really busy trying to get back in the swing of things with work. So I missed a couple of her recent podcasts, but you know, she's been doing great things and I've been love catching up and listening to her. But she powered me through all that running and I finished my goal of getting my a little over a thousand calories. So I'm a fifth of the way there, but now it's time for breakfast. So I'll catch you all later. Donuts look delicious. Johnny's Donuts are one of my boyfriends and my favorite place to get donuts. They are like donuts on steroids. They are humongous and they are jam packed with deliciousness. So I'm super excited. This box has six. I'm only gonna be eating three of them, but I mean, like I said, they are huge. So they are definitely calorie dense. So I'm gonna get started here with a new one that I wanted to try, which is my French toast cake. So let's get started. All right, just finished donut number one. Gonna move on to donut number two, which is this apple um, apple pie donut. It's ginormous. I'm really trying to maximize the time in between workouts. So utilizing every minute of my rest break to consume the calories I need to, to meet my 5,000 calorie goal. And so I'm even eating in the car as my boyfriend's driving us back home. But the rest of the game plan for today, or at least what's coming next is a couple hip workouts off of YouTube that have been advertised as big calorie burns. So we'll check that out. But for now, more donuts. All right, we just made it home with what is left of our donuts. All right, so I got a little bit more of my apple pie donut, and then I have a chocolate chip crow dough that I'm super excited for, hence why I saved it for last. So I'm going to power through and get going on these so that way I can, you know, digest a little bit before I hit those hip workouts. All right, happy eating. Unfortunately, right now, I think the calories I need to consume are beating me rather than me beating them. I have one more bite left and I just cannot put it down. I feel like I would throw up and, you know, that would just kind of end the challenge for me. So I'm going to wait on that and go to the park right now. Um, but before I do that, right here, you'll see um, my current calories burned versus calories consumed and I'll keep you posted about my HIIT workouts at the park. We made it to the park. I'm still feeling really full after those donuts, but you know, trying to keep a schedule going, so we're gonna start this workout. I'm at 
a little over a thousand calories to be exact. I got 1,177 out of my 5,000 that I need to get for the day. So to get a calorie burn, I'm gonna do the Chloe Ting complete fat blasting full body workout, burn 500 calories, warm up and cool down. So let's see if Chloe Ting is gonna help me burn 500 calories. Let's get started. Chloe and I still have 70, or sorry, we're 77% of the way there. We still got 23% to go. I'm basically not moving at all at this point. I'm trying to front load a lot of that running and oof, trying to keep down all of that food. It's really taking its toll. What's the plan? I don't know. I need a minute. All right, as you can see, the early morning run and the donuts had really took their toll on my body. So I needed to take a break and recharge, AKA take a nap. So it is currently 4.45 and I'm feeling a whole lot better and I'm going to keep going. I'm a little off schedule, or okay, a lot off schedule, but I'm gonna head to the garage and continue with the HIIT workout, pick up where I left off, and try to make some ground. I got until midnight, so I'm gonna keep chugging away. So I just finished a workout where um, it said five minutes burn 100 calories. Unfortunately for me, it only got me 60, 60 calories burned. So I got a lot more to make up for, but you know, each calorie counts. So I'm gonna keep chugging along. Okay, so I know the lighting's not great. The sun's going down and unfortunately my garage uses the same electricity and not light it up when someone's in here. But that's okay, um, we're gonna keep going. I'm gonna give Chloe Ting 500 fat, 500 calories, sorry, fat burner, another go. So counting on you, Chloe. Let's get these calories burned. And I'm gonna start the workout right now. All right, so I just finished Chloe Ting. Unfortunately, they didn't give me the 500 calories I was looking for in about 30 minutes, but it gave me well, a little over half of what it describes. So I'm at sitting at 259 active calories. I'm gonna give a little break from those HIIT workouts and incorporate a little bit of jump rope just to change it up, keep myself entertained during this, this grind. And yeah, let's get going. Whew. All right, 
right, so my boyfriend just came home with burritos and that's my favorite food, so I'm super excited. I'm gonna take a break here. And another 30 minutes after the Chloe Ting fat burner. And it turns out that it burns just about the same amount from jump roping. All right, so I got a little over 250 calories. I don't know if I'm gonna make it, but I'm gonna give it my best shot. Now time for burritos. So it's time, like I said, for burritos. So I'm super excited. Unfortunately, because I took my nap, I'm really pressed for time. So there's not even time right now to sit and enjoy my burrito. So I'm going on a walk right now to eat and burn at the same time. So first bite. Mm. So I got a little less than half of the burrito left, but I'm tired of walking and eating. So I'm going to bring the rest of it upstairs and charge my watch slash foam roll my legs and I'll catch you guys in a little bit. So it is eight o'clock. Turns out that the food is probably the, well not probably, definitely the hardest part of this challenge. That burrito that I showed you earlier, still haven't touched it since I've walked inside. So I'm just gonna focus on the calories burned and I'm just gonna walk up and down the stairs of my apartment building. I'm on the third floor here. So I'm just gonna keep going up and down and try to burn as much as I can. And if I get hungry, I'm gonna try to tackle my burrito and I'll see you later. All right, so I am done with stairs. I've been doing that for an hour and a half and then had to take a break because my body was just caving. It was just, too much. So anyways, I'm back in the garage for the last hour and just gonna try to get as many calories burned as I can. So here we go. All right, it has just turned midnight. And that means my time's up. <sighs> definitely, definitely not in a good mental space to process my thoughts, but what I know I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go take a good shower. Been working out for too long, but I'll recap with you guys in the morning. Good night. All right, it's the next morning and my body is feeling rough, but let's go ahead and reflect on the day's challenge. So we're gonna break the challenge into two parts. First, about the eating of the 5K. Unfortunately, I didn't meet that goal. I left the last bite of my donut and I left some of my burrito. Plus, I didn't even get to all the other foods I had planned and wished that I could have ate that day. Um, but I still consumed over 2000 calories for the day. And though that may not sound very impressive considering it was part of a food challenge, it was tough eating all of that um, junk food while simultaneously working out as much as I did. Now about burning the 5K. I also didn't meet that goal either. However, after watching one of my favorite YouTubers, Will Tennyson, doing his Eat 10K, Burn 10K challenge, he counted all calories, whether they were active calories burned or from his normal resting metabolic rate. Therefore, if I was using my total calories for the day, I was only a little over 600 calories for my goal, which isn't too shabby. Now for my weigh-in. This morning I weighed myself and I was only 115.8 pounds, meaning I gained 0 0.4 pounds from that challenge, which by the way I was feeling yesterday with all that rich and fatty foods, I would say that was pretty good. All in all, even though I didn't, did not complete that challenge, I'm super proud of my efforts. I am a former collegiate athlete, and this has by far been the toughest thing I've ever had to do. This has pushed me to new extremes mentally and physically, and though I can barely walk right now or think about junk food, I am highly entertaining the idea of doing this challenge again. If I were to do this challenge again, though, I would change a couple things. 
I probably wouldn't have started my day running, trying to run a half marathon or by eating donuts. I think both choices took me out of the challenge for too long of the day. I would have done maybe a little bit less running and more of a HIIT workout style to not make my body so sore, as well as maybe ease into the eating with a little bit lighter of breakfast as my first meal to replenish me rather than to go straight to dessert with those gourmet donuts. Um, and I think changing up the workouts to start off the day would have better set me up to meet both of those 5K goals. Another thing that I would do differently is I would probably train for the amount of food that I would be consuming. Right now I'm eating only about 1500 calories and so anything over that my body's just not really used to. So in preparation for the next food challenge I take on, I'm just gonna slowly up those calories so that way it's not a total shock to the body. With that said, I'm gonna wrap things up here. If you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and comment below if you want me to take on this challenge again or if you have another idea for a challenge. And with that said, I'll see you guys in the next one.